This is David LaRue with McMahon LaRue Associates. Today we're going to look at StarNet 7 Pro and taking your Opus solution and importing it directly into StarNet. First you have to make a text file from the information uh, from the extended solution from Opus. Next we're going to open up StarNet 7. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a project for this. Uh, when we go to import this, we're going to go ahead and create separate files for each uh, static um, observation, um, importing those into their own DAD file um, corresponding to the text file that we had created. Um, take a look at the settings for uh, importing that information. Let's look at a 600 acre site we just completed with 65 static observation, both rapid static and regular static. Once we ran the adjustment, um, our biggest error may have been 500 both horizontal and vertical. Um, our blunders map will show us exactly where to look for uh, to isolate any problems. From there we can go ahead and print out both the report and the map. Let's take a look at the, the settings that make all this happen. We've set the settings initially under the company settings. This is your overall settings that you're going to use for each project. Um, from there you can go ahead and set the individual settings per project under project settings. Um, we've got this project set up for state plane 83 coordinates and we've got a geoid model attached to it giving us 1988 elevations. Um, look under each tab um, under instrument settings that only affects your level and your total station. There's no um, settings for your GPS and um, other than that take a look, pause the screen and, and use the same settings we did. We've, we've gotten great results with those. Thank you.